All right, we are about to embark on our first tubing mission of the year. Not to be confused with tubing behind a boat. This is a more relaxed version where you basically ride a river for a certain amount of time. So we've got two cars. We're about ready to kind of depart and uh, drop one car off at the, the other end. You can go with a company for these, uh, which is what we did the first time. But what we actually found is that you can buy these tubes for 20, maybe $30 online. So if you go more than once, it already pays for itself. And uh, then you just need two cars, drop off on one side of the river and float down. Very relaxing, but we're gonna show you a little bit of what it's like. float it took us about five hours we had a south wind which made it take quite a bit longer I uh, wanted to just give you a few tips if you're thinking about doing a tube trip down the Asabo River um, first tip bring a cooler with your favorite drinks and favorite snacks uh, there's a couple good spots to stop along the way that uh, that you can pull over have a nice beach snack, run down some dunes. Um, it's a great, great way to, uh, to kind of enjoy that and you will get hungry. The whole trip is about five hours long. So you wanna make sure to, to kind of bring some snacks and uh, some nice drinks to enjoy along the, the way. Second tip is to bring paddles. So it will get calm in some spots and you wanna make sure that you have a paddle to make it easy to continue on uh, we brought five paddles which was just enough for our group of seven um, and so definitely bring paddles or your trip is going to take a lot longer than you expect and uh, and finally have fun it is super relaxing uh, make sure you bring two cars um, but it is a really nice way to spend a, uh, an afternoon and check the weather because we got out looks like just before the rain so that's our tips for tubing down the Osable.